Hey everybody, I'm Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul. We're doing another Meet the Crew video with somebody that I did not know that I was going to have the opportunity to meet. In fact, I had no idea who he was. But his name is Brandon Scaff. And if you have watched any gaming videos or been in the monster truck industry, if that has popped up on YouTube in your searches, you've probably heard of a YouTube channel called T-Ray. And this is a guy that kind of really brought it to fruition. So Brandon Scaff is here and uh, I'm just blown away that I'm sitting here talking to a guy that's really created this amazing trend in social media, not just social media, but obviously on YouTube and everything. So first thing we need to do, because there's a lot of people my age that watch this, yeah. explain to us what Beam NG is. Beam NG is a soft body physics simulator. Um, so basically it was really brought up at first to it was it was really for crashing cars. That's okay. all. That yeah. was the main thing. That's was where I started. You can crash watching. cars. You can hit walls. You can do whatever you want. The car just deforms really nice. It's, it's fun. That's that's what it is. That's the catch. But then eventually, some guys you know put together the CRD mod, and that just blew up. That was the most downloaded mod. I think it might still be the most downloaded I'm mod sure. that Beam G's ever had. Please explain what a CRD is. CRD is a chassis and the chassis of the monster truck that is most commonly used by Monster Jam. Um, you know, we got Eric Swanson back here with the CRD, uh, brand new CRD, and uh, it's just the top of the line chassis right now. It, and it's so amazing. Not only can you create the physics of the trucks, mm -hmm. but the environment. And is, is, I don't know if open source is the right term, that you can go into this software and, as a user mm -hmm. and create your own environment, meaning that if you wanted to do the monster truck show that we're doing here, which by the way, we're in Puyallup, Washington at the Washington State Fair, the Spring Fair. Oh yeah. But you could create this arena in Beam NG. Yep. Beam NG. There yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we definitely could. That's the crazy thing about it is that we have, we have certain people that can make tracks almost identical to what they are you know certain things like the stage might be a little different but the placement is what really matters so it's incredible and so to scale like we've we've actually uh for the monster truck insanity tour we've got a handful of our arenas that are i don't know if they're available yet but they are being designed which is right. mind-blowing that you could actually if you come to one of our shows you could pick whatever truck you want absolutely that's performing there and drive like tremont and idaho falls one of our biggest shows we haven't release those yet because they're still in development but yeah that's it, it's crazy but so now tell me you like you really brought it to light tell me how this whole thing happened with the t-ray channel so one day i was just you know we, we've always made videos on rigs of rods which is another monster it was the same kind of thing soft body physics it was actually beam ng before beam ng rigs of rods was made in like 2005 around 2000 nine, I want to say 2010 ish, they started bringing monster trucks into the game. And that really changed the game. It really did. There's a, a lot of people that come to Rigs of Rods for buses. And there's a, even more people that come for monster trucks. And those are the two communities that kind of formed around that. And Beam and G came out in like 2013. It blew everybody's mind with the soft body physics and how it looked when like, you know, the truck would hit the car. Even suspension function functionality was really good um, compared to Rigs of Rods. So that was really the big difference. And then as soon as monster trucks got brought into Beam and G, it just blew up. Like nobody could have imagined it got millions and millions of downloads right away. It's so crazy and it's so interactive that like if you wanted to take a closet or a room in your house, and the ability of creating controls for that, you could dang near create your own monster truck simulator and get that experience. And I'm gonna let you tell the story that I think it was you that was telling me about it, about uh, Eric Swanson uh, doing a save. Oh, that was, that was Tyler, that. but I do know yeah. that story, yes. Well, so. I just wanna explain really quick. So this, this, and this is about to take a whole nother step that really blows my mind. But, so in my law enforcement career, we switched to what would be considered video games. There's a lot of old technology early on. I was a cop for 20 years, but our firearms training, we would do uh, interactive video stuff that where it would read kind of basically like your shooting gallery, you read infrared light. And then that was the beginning of my career and the driving simulators. Mm -hmm. But as it advanced and at the end of my career, we were doing these totally immersive simulators for driving, for uh, shoot, don't shoot scenarios and firearms training and things like that. And it really increased when you would go out on the range using the practical thing as far as shooting or the driving range uh, in a, an emergency vehicle, it made all the difference in the world to be able to go sit and do that training. And 
we were talking, I'll let you tell the story about what Eric was doing because he spends a little bit of time. Eric is one of, one of the top monster truck drivers out there as far That's as cool. that stuff goes. I mean, he's an incredible driver, but all practical experience, but then he plays around with RC cars yep. and B-Man G. Yes, he does. And so tell the story about what he told what, what he told Tyler. Yeah, he was telling Tyler that, you know, he was in on two wheels and he knew that he wasn't going to be able to save it. So he was on two wheels and he's kind of accepting, but in that moment he also had, like, in the back of his mind, he was like, well, when I played Beam and G, I slammed on the brakes in this moment and it kind of settled back down. And they did that and it settled back down, just like he did in the game. So, you know, with Beam and G, there are some flaws. There's always going to be flaws when you're doing simulators. Sure. Um, it's not always going to be 10 for 10 accuracy, but there are some things that translate and that's that's what really matters uh, the translation is actually pretty good i'd say it's at least an eight out of ten that is that is mind-blowing so here's the thing that i never thought about being an announcer now for 30 years of really you had to get on a microphone you had to get out in front of people and you had to like you would always start rough so i've been through the rodeo stuff i had to learn a lot about that i, per I competed in rodeo a little bit but i had to learn not just what i was doing was barebacks and bull riding mm -hmm. i had to as i was an announcer i had to learn everything there was to know about roping and yet i've never looked over the ears of a horse and thrown a rope at a calf or a steer or anything like that so i had to learn it through watching and uh, being able to diagnose those things a little bit then moved into truck and tractor pulling same kind of deal being able to go well i think this is what happened now monster trucks and just guessing that but what you guys are doing with the t-ray channel it blows my mind they are we're creating amazing announcers that can diagnose that can figure out what's going on that can educate the crowd that can react to the crowd and respond with what you're doing on the t-ray channel so basically for anybody that hasn't watched it and you've got to go watch it right now i'm going to put a link right here to the t-ray channel and watch what they're doing with this but you guys are doing the commentary you're doing the announcing like it full on i i actually haven't run across this yet but you could do the full intro and everything the stuff that gets me gives me all kinds of anxiety once the show starts i'm on autopilot and it's good but you guys are turning yourselves into these amazing announcers with a video game absolutely that's that's where the simulation comes in it's it's not only like a simulation of the truck itself you can simulate a whole show you can simulate everything from intros to well roughly you can roughly simulate like so you can only be one person at a time sure. it's a single player game unfortunately there's bmp but it's kind of rough so but like still you can have a lot of fun you can you can get creative with it you can do single intros whatever you want to do place them out on the track and start the show up like a normal monster truck it's show so and then we got tyler out here you know doing amazing commentary with trenton and trenton is the original owner of t-ray right and you know um he gave me t-ray back in 2016 i ran with it now tyler's running with it and tyler's doing an amazing job and i've uh, been making some great videos and, uh, I can't be happier with the way the T-Ray is right now. Like he's really stepping up. That's what that's what I was worried about. Was was quality. I've always been big on quality with my videos and whatnot, and I wanted things to be right. And Tyler, he's doing a great job. So cool. Well, it's really incredible to like. I had no idea we were going to meet this weekend, and I'm so excited about it to put a face behind the voice and the the name and all of that amazing content. And even if you're my age, I get it. You don't want to watch somebody play a video game, sure. but. I ran across these guys because I saw, I'm always looking up motorsport stuff and the Beam NG, like you said, I was watching all these crash videos. I'll create some intersection in California or something like that and pile up 900 vehicles or anything you can imagine. And then obviously because of what my searches are and everything, it brought me to the monster truck stuff. I saw the T-Ray channel, mm -hmm. never imagined that I was gonna meet you guys and uh, I'm, I'm just super excited to, to see this. No, yeah, the opportunities that the channels brought me is been almost endless like i can't even i never would have thought like making the channel back in the day i'd be doing like actual monster truck shows being yeah. behind the scenes uh getting up close to them getting in them like that was what i wanted at first was you know just just the general stuff but then it, it grew i was like man you know this is this is like a real job this is something that could be so that was that was interesting kind of going from the video game aspect of it to actually putting myself in those positions and getting out there seeing the real shows it, it's and, so amazing and i know you've helped other teams i know you've helped other well got to meet one of your heroes growing up jeff boehner yeah absolutely uh that's super cool good good friend and uh telling that story that that was really cool to me but like as far as this weekend goes you've helped us we just hauled a bunch of merch over like went from 
what everybody complains about is all oh, people need to get off the screen time they need to get out and do reality but through the screen time it's brought brandon to the reality yeah. and it's so freaking cool and refreshing but man i'm so excited to get to meet you and hang out with you and i know uh, we're going to be working together a lot more in the future absolutely i can't wait so make sure and check out beam ng we're going to have a lot more to talk about with brandon in the future i'm kenny this is sagebrush soul and may the best of your past be the worst of your future